Yo, whether you watching from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, moviepilot.com, or YouTube itself, what up, where up? So I just saw Assassin's Creed. It's, uh, it's based on the video game series. It stars Michael Fassbender, Marianne Cotillard, Jeremy Irons, Michael K. Williams. And it's directed by Justin Kurzel, who... Um, I think directed Macbeth last year with Fassbender and Marion Cotillard too. Man, um, if you want to get a shout out in my review for Underworld Blood Wars, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. All right, man. So um, this movie starts off and it's got Michael Fassbender. He's taking this oath of the assassins. He's reciting the Assassin's Creed, um, and. You know, some action goes down. It fast forwards to Michael Fassbender's character as a kid. Something happens. We see him as a grown man. Something happens. All of a sudden, he's with Marion Cotillard and Jeremy Irons. And then that's when, like, they're the reason he ends up in that machine that we see. And they need some kind of artifact to bring peace or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because back in ancient 14... 92 it was the the assassins versus this other group and they were both looking for the same artifact be you know for for either or either for peace or their own personal gain whatever and i mean that's pretty much the movie i've, I've never played these games and so i was i was i'm, I'm lost as far as the lore and the backstory um references i obviously didn't catch any of those i think the action looks cool and i think their performances were solid like michael fassbender is one of them dudes who's gonna kill it every time he's on screen now i like marion cotillard she gave a better performance in allied in my opinion i mean she didn't do bad that's what i'm that's what i'm saying like like people will note all the time this is that death scene in the dark knight rises is like only time that you could see like uh, a crack in her in her solid acting there's a sort of twist sort of reveal i'm ashamed of myself that i didn't catch it until it was revealed because it's honestly clear as day obviously they set it up for a franchise who knows if it will you know what I'm saying who knows if this movie will get sequels it took forever to make there's nothing really that sticks out that i disliked about it I just really couldn't completely immerse myself into the world. Like I said, it's not a knock on the movie. I think it's more me. I think just my mood, my mood and how I feel in the movie affects how much I like the movie. And in crusty ass movie theater seats, I was dead tired. So my yeah, based my rating on my own personal vibe, you know what I'm saying, my own personal experience. In my opinion, man, Assassin's Creed is straight. I mean, you could go see it. You could enjoy it. Justify to me why I should like it. Like, I feel like I should watch it again and, and rejudge it. But as far as now, man, it's straight. Like, I wanted to, I wanted to like it. I wanted it to be, like, the new best video game movie ever. Because I want video game movies to start to get the recognition comic book movies do. It's, it's not better than the first Mortal Kombat or the first Resident Evil. There's nothing that really triggered that got me to like it less than I wanted to. I just, I just didn't, man. I, I, I couldn't completely get into the world. Like, it's an interesting idea. The games are obviously successful as fuck. So have you seen Assassin's Creed? Like I said, man, let me know what you thought, please, man. And if you want to get that shout out in my Underworld review, man... It's like a NASCAR race. In what positions will the movies finish, man? Not in what order will they finish. In what positions will Sing, Why Him, Passengers, and Assassin's Creed all finish? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s in first, Jeff Gordon's in third, Danica Patrick's in seventh, etc. Upcoming, man, I right around the corner got a review for Why Him. In the next day or two, I'll have reviews for Sing and for Passengers, uh, Hip Hop Heads, next weekend, Run The Jewels 3 review, because they literally just dropped the album. RunTheJewels.com crashed. I can't even download it yet. The NFL playoffs are coming for, for my sports fans. 
I'm going to try to get a couple of my boys together like I've been doing, and we'll do an NFL uh, playoff preview. Um, Blu-ray collection update, favorite movies of the year, favorite movies of the fourth quarter of the year, uh, most anticipated movies for next year, Underworld review, and the week after that, I want I want to say Sleepless, Live by Night is supposed to go nationwide, Patriots Day is supposed to go nationwide. That's going to be a busy weekend. Uh, tag me in your ticket stubs, man, no matter what you're watching. Rogue One, um, Collateral Beauty, Assassin's Creed, Why Him, Passengers Sing. Um, like, subscribe, comment, find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me, watch the credits. Peace.